to design in the decorator's voice. I'm a certified interior decorator, professional organizer, and planning and productivity strategist. And if those are topics that you're interested in, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notification. On this video, we're going to discuss seven habits to maintaining a clutter-free home. So the first habit I want to discuss is getting rid of duplicate items. Sometimes we have multiples of things that we really don't need multiples of. Like realistically, how many linens, sheets, and towels, and things like that do you need? If you have five beds in your home or four beds in your home, you don't need 50 <laughs> bed sets, 50 sheets for those beds because in any given time, you're only going to have one set on the bed. So determine what is a good amount for you to keep. Maybe you want to keep two per bed or maybe you want to keep three per bed. But the extra items, definitely feel free to donate them. Also think about things like coffee cups and commuter mugs. Those are things that sometimes we see a nice one, we'll get it and then bring it home and we'll put it with, you know, 20 or 30 other ones. We really don't need all of those. So trying to get rid of duplicate items is a very good step. Number two, return items after you use them. Now I know it sounds pretty easy and it sounds very simple to just put your things back, but a lot of times we don't necessarily put things back when we're supposed to because we may be in a rush, we may not have time, and we'll just sit it down somewhere and we're like, oh, I'll get to it later. And then later becomes the next day, the next month, Sometimes later can end up being a year or two and you're wondering like, wow, where is this item? I haven't seen it in forever. And then you realize it's been sitting someplace for like a year. <laughs> so try to put things back where they belong. Assign a home for everything and then after you use something, put it back. Number three, clean your kitchen daily. Now, I know that kind of sounds like a no given, but we have to clean our kitchen daily. That is what's going to help our home stay clean and remain clutter free. So when I say clean your kitchen daily, that means putting the dishes up, wiping down the counters and not leaving excess items on the countertops. You know, flat surfaces are a killer for clutter or actually a constant um, attraction of clutter. So if you can keep those countertops clean and only have the minimum items you want on your countertops, that will definitely help you maintain a clutter-free home. Number four, make your bed daily. Now that's another thing that you may think is a given and it really should be, but just take the time to make your bed every day. And that's the very first thing you can do and that's a really good first step to take. Last October, I actually participated in a Make Your Bed Daily Challenge for the whole month of oh, was August, August, yes. So for the whole month of August, I made a conscious effort to make my bed neatly and pretty every day. Now, of course, in challenge or just in regular everyday living, you don't have to make it perfect with the pillows and everything, but at least make some type of effort. So when you come back home into your room, your room will appear you know, clean and less cluttered with your bed made up. Number five, stop buying things. <laughs> yes, stop buying things and learn to live with less. So there are a few questions you should ask yourself before you buy something. Do you really need this item? Does it have a purpose? Is it going to replace something? Do you have a home for it? So those are some of the things that you should ask yourself. So I know we right now live in the area or an a part of our time where we can just purchase anything we want and basically get it in a couple hours. You can order something on Amazon in the morning and it's on your doorstep by that evening. So instead of just making these easy random purchases, just make sure this is something that you really need because the more things you bring into your home, the more clutter you can have. And unless you're getting rid of things, you're just going to stockpile more and more things. So yes, getting rid of clutter is very important. Number six, remove excess items. So that is actually similar to number one, but this is just remove all the extra items that you don't need. So on your coffee table, on your dining room table, on your desk, office, wherever, if you have extra items that really don't need to be there, definitely remove them. I actually was going to do a video of 
my living room entertainment center. So that video will be showing soon, probably in the next week or two. But my own entertainment center has a little clutter on it. And I've noticed I started kind of putting things there that really shouldn't be there. So I'm going to shoot a video and show you how I can declutter my um, entertainment center and just have less display because when you have so many things it's really hard to focus and appreciate the things that you want to display. Number seven, creating routines. Routines are very important when you're talking about eliminating clutter in your home. So I always talk about being a separate wife now. I don't want to be a robot, <laughs> but I do love the idea of having a clutter-free and a clean home at all times. So there are some things that we do in my home, you know, as far as our routines, like the way we clean the kitchen, the way we clean the bathroom, the way we wash our towels. You know, we pretty much have a schedule. That way we don't have dirty uh, dish rags or face rags lingering around causing odor and that was actually a video I did last week which was a thing is that you can do to maintain a clean smelling home so you know creating routines like you know only having a dish towel for two times or however you want to do it and start you know getting a routine of washing them drying them and then putting them away at a certain time and then also even refilling things like your you know napkin dispensers and things like that if you refill your napkin dispenser or anything like that you, that you're supposed to do, you'll eliminate having extra stuff just sitting around. So those routines are very important when it comes to eliminating clutter. Now I really hope some of these tips really help you. I would love to hear from you. So if you have any suggestions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And also if these tips are something that you can use Feel free to listen to or read my blog. I have a lot of interesting information about home decor, organization, and decluttering over my blog, which is decoratorsvoice.com. So, thank you very much. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you, and have a divine day. Goodbye.